Hi everybody, Hatlo from Cape Town and welcome to another video. Now every few years I reflect on where I am today against the day that I started. And I also look at the path that I took, the ups and the downs, just in an effort to help me to be real about where I come from, where I am today and where I'm going to. But I also make the video for you to realize that, that even though our high profile fitness guys looks invincible we are facing the exact same challenges as you in life and sometimes even more but even with everything life is throwing at you it is possible to get up and rise up every time no matter how far you fall the key is just getting up and continuing with a good fight and fight harder than ever before you see the moment that you you stop fighting this fight on bettering yourself and you start to just accept life and go with the flow. That is the moment that that spark of life slowly starts dimming until it eventually goes out. Be all you can be, always. Burn as bright as you can. Okay, back to my journey. Well, as my followers would know, I started my journey officially at age 40. Yeah, that was a big bummer year for me. If you want to know what happened, then go and check the video. I'll put up a link for you in the description box of this video. I label it what happened at age 40. Okay, but before 40, um, in my late 20s, I started working out. I mean, it was a lifelong dream of me to have a great body, but I simply had no idea what I was doing. And of course, if you don't know what you're doing, there will be no results. How do they say young, dumb, and full of cum? Now, sadly, that was me. Like most youngsters, I believed I knew everything and nobody could teach me anything. Okay, it's a, it's a bit exaggerated. But you understand what I'm trying to say. So at age 23, I got married. This is me on the day that I got married with my beautiful wife. We've been married now for 30 years. Back then I was a mere 64 kilograms, a scrawny guy with very little muscle. And just for reference, I'm 1.75 meters. Now at age 40, I was forced to get my act together. Like literally, my life was depending on it. Sometimes that is what it takes. But it was not an easy process. My health was not good at that point in time and the body responded slowly. At age 42, I got my baby boy and that gave my life some serious meaning. That was the first time in my life that I really understood the principle of unconditional love. But having a small kid, um, I understand, you guys, that is definitely making the whole thing more complicated to stick to a body transformation. The kid becomes more important than anything else and it just gets easier to shelf your gym time to the not important box. And many guys fall completely flat here. What helped me was that I had my back room in my house that I changed into a very nice gym setup. And because it was at my home, it allowed me to stick much better to my training regime because when the baby cried I, I was there to help and sometimes the baby was even like in between me uh, training and sometimes training with me <laughs> it was only around about age 45 46 that I can say that I really reached great shape and size my health was the whole time like a handbrake on me uh, I, I moved much slower than I wanted to but I also had a lot of serious catching up to do in terms of the signs of it all and my skills and the knowledge, especially for the older guy, because that was what I was focusing on, how to reshape the older body. I wanted to create my system as a blueprint system for the older guy. Now here's a short video clip of me at age 47. I was quite big then. I think my shoulders and my arms were the biggest at that point that it ever was. But my shape wasn't that balanced and symmetrical. I was overdeveloped in some areas and underdeveloped in other areas. Now that balanced aesthetic shape, that came much later as I continued to educate myself. Now hitting age 50, you know, that was a big thing for me. And I've been through a lot for the past decade. And I decided that I'm going to drop my body fat rather low. So my journey at age 50 took me to body fat. I think the nutritionist measured it and it was just above 6%. But then I really knew what I was doing. I even had some uh, doctors, local doctors, that referred some of their clients to me regarding specific fitness training issues. Unfortunately, my health stayed the whole time a big concern. Uh, the problem was that from age 40, I, I had 50% damage to my kidneys. However, wisdom and knowledge triumphed here. Yeah. Obviously also with the grace of God. And I continue bettering my health and bettering my balanced aesthetic look. Now at 52, I want to say that was when I reckon I was at my all-time best. 
the muscles was very well symmetrically balanced there wasn't an overdevelopment and an underdevelopment everything was well proportioned i was at the top of my game and i couldn't wait for hitting 60 to see how far i can push this limits of course up to this point there were many challenges like with any everybody else you know i had a knee operation i had various flu bouts uh, bronchitis the normal tendon issues that all guys over 40 have, but the happy training was not meant to last for me. January 2017, that was around about age 53. It was my second close call with death, very close call with death. Again, you want to see what happened? It's just another soppy story. Uh, go and check it out. I'll, I'll put the video link for you in the description box of this video. Just look for what happened at age 52. So the result was a full 12 months of zero training. Guys, I wasn't even allowed to walk short distances. Even chewing my food made me exhausted. Now think for yourself, you know. You can do nothing. You're basically just sitting and lying there for a whole year. So what's going to happen to the body? You know, you're not going to stick to your diet. You know, you're depressed seeing all your hard work of the previous 12 years just going doop, doop, doop down the drain, the tummy getting bigger. You're just looking worse every week, every month. So yes. So yes. That was a big bummer. But that year was passed and I was cleared to start getting gradually physical activity again and my health was much better I started picking myself up and I started getting back into the game slowly slowly because there was a lot of damage to the body all my tendons was extremely fragile for all for all the strong antibiotics that I took so it was a painful couple of years lying ahead for me but this time around I got the skills, I got the knowledge, and I got my advanced system too. I've been through it all. The system is there. I just need to follow it. Now it's nearly three years later after that, and I'm going on 56. Pretty much the heaviest I think that I've ever been. I'm, I'm 91 kilograms right now compared to 64 when I was just a scrawny young guy. My body fat is slightly higher, I would say now, uh, around about, let's call it 14%. I kept it high for the past three years uh, because it helps me a lot to build muscles quickly and to help my body to recover quicker. So I believe I am close to what I was at age 52. It's just a matter of dropping the body fat a few percentages. Time to bring out more shape. Knowledge and skill are my weapons. Let's see how this is gonna phase out in the next 10 years. This 55 year old is definitely ready for the battle. God's will, I'm forging ahead. Now it was much easier uh, for my second transformation from age 52 to 55 than it was with my first transformation after the age of 40. Simply because now I really knew what I was doing. But guys, the whole purpose of this video is meant to inspire. You're going to fall down. Every one of us is going to fall down. Sometimes we're falling very, very hard. But it's about getting up after you fell. There is always a way to keep training. Excuses are for the weak-minded. Now, as I said before, at age 80, I want to be the fittest, meanest, athletic-looking 80-year-old on the internet. Bring it on. Okay guys, now some good news. Behind the screens I've been working to get you guys some deals on getting some stuff cheaper out there. The first deal I got for you is from a supplement company called FNX. They're a decent supplement company, they do decent stuff. You know, I'm very outspoken when it comes to supplements and supplements needs to be very good to make my grade. And these are one of the better ones. The deal I got together for you is you can get 15% off on everything that you order from FNX. But the catch, you have to order through the link that I'm going to give you now. This is only for my followers, this link. So through this link, if you order through that link, it's worldwide delivery, then you get 15% off. Now with the way that the prices are of supplements these days, 15% is a lot of money. Don't worry, I'm also going to put the link in the video description for you. One of their products I like, which I'm using myself, is, is their refuel protein blends. But watch the space after the end of each of my videos. I'm going to regularly announce some more discount links that I found for you guys. 
then of course for those of you guys interested in my advanced coaching system 2 that is the system that brought me to the point where I am today that is specifically designed for the older guy it's a complete blueprint system taking you from A to Z getting you step by step to put everything correctly in place and making sure the body is responding optimally now I customize this for you for your body and your goals if you want to sign up or you just want to check the system out just go to the link on the screen to find out more okay guys life throw you one step back you get up and you force ahead two steps never ever give up now one of my clients it's a over 40 guy um, he bought my advanced system to that guy his wife is very serious with cancer he has three small kids he has to work to earn money and he has to support and look after his wife. He has to look after his kids. That's a hell of a job. That's something I wish for nobody. And that guy, through all this tribulation that he's having, he managed to do a very decent transformation. What is your excuse? But praise God, the last I heard is his wife is actually getting better. Okay, everybody. Hadlow from Cape Town, signing off. Go, train hard, train wise, and make it happen. Cheers.